It started as a godsend, an over-the-counter male enhancement supplement that sprouted wondrous results. It was an all-natural product that promised thicker erections that could last as long as 72 hours. But then, it all went terribly wrong. Here at the clinic, we're helping our patients to manage and adapt to their new size. A condition known as hypererectile disorder, or more commonly known as head, resulted in permanent erections. Help you. The doctor will see you. Five o'clock is fine. Clinics providing support and counseling for those afflicted have opened in droves. Over-the-counter accessibility of the pills now made it possible for any man to get head. Three years after the initial explosion, which was once an embarrassment of sorts, has slowly become an accepted and even welcome part of everyday life. My name is Seabear. They call me Sweetness. You know, uh, play college basketball. D1. Kind of messed up my game a little bit. Had to, you know, adjust the, the dribbling and, and things of like that. You know, but. And the guys, well, they really don't like it, you know, posting up or whatever. But, you know, I think, honestly, I think it's because they ain't got no game. But uh, at night, let me tell you about the ladies. They love it. They love it. She changed my life. Changed my life. Oh, Ooh! I got next. Once the first all-natural enhancement pill rock hard, was legally available over the counter, unregulated product flooded the shelves. Male performance enhancement supplements became a multi-billion dollar industry. Um, head stands for uh, hypererectile dysfunction. Um, I first got head, I'd say, about two and a half years ago. Although I would say it's not too much of a dysfunction. I have to say I'm, I'm happier than a pig and shit myself. I am a Virgo. Um, I like a good steak dinner. Life is really good. All my returns on my investments, just skyrocketing. My golf game, man, has it improved. So, uh, I mean, any questions? How do you feel? How's your stance feel? Good, hang on. I think you just need to relax a little bit. Like, I, I teach how to play the game, how to stroke it, how to hit the ball. And knees bent. That's Dude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I get a little carried away you. sometimes. I got you, I got you, bro, I got you. Just just relax. Just, just, just relax. Just oh, relax. I'm relaxed. It's no, it's no problem. You need to relax. I have to say things are a little different these days. It takes some getting used to. It's what they call a learning curve. Alan Knight is a transit worker who made his fortune from the invention of a device used to relieve the everyday discomfort caused by having a never-ending erection. I'm Alan Knight, the inventor of the penis cozy. I've come up with different models. The Knight Rider, the Dick Dolly, the Schlong Thong. It's just amazing what people want nowadays. I've quit my job. This is a full-time thing for me now. I'm an artist. We have a new model coming out. It's called the Stealth, and it's for the shy types. I have on one now. Can you tell? But there are some who have had enough of head. It needs to stop. Men can't play with their children. They can't hold their daughters on their laps. They can't play with their sons. It's destroying the family, and we're not having it anymore. It's gone too far. My name is Chastity Steele. I am the founder and president of LIMP, Ladies Impeding Male Potency. The world needs to know what this can do. It's not only hurting men, it's hurting the women. L-I-M-P, keep that thing away from me. But it's not just women who are angry about this new condition that has popped up. Uh, we're Jerry and Barbara. Well, can we cut? Uh, you need to ask me who I am. Uh, I don't really don't want to be doing this. Uh, he's a little shy. This is. Uh, how has it changed my life? What do you mean? I... Look at this. That, that's how it's changed my life. Would, can you go through your life looking like this? No, I don't have a life. I, I, Jerry, uh, you have a wonderful life. This has this has revolutionized. Yeah, yeah, it's great for both. you. It's great for you. But what's it been like for me? That's what he's asking. Why has it changed my life? My life. I don't have a life. I don't have a job anymore. I used to have a job, but they don't like me walking around the office like this. Nobody wants to see me like this. 
The secretaries didn't want to talk to me. They were horrified every time I came around. Did you know I was the very first person fired because of erectile malfunction? Hyperectile malfunction. Hyper Sweetheart, you, you have been a martyr. You have been an inspiration for men all over the world. Listen, our life has been fabulous. He makes me such a happy woman. You wouldn't believe. Mm. Well, I might as well because we can't go anywhere else. That's all. <laughs> Darling, that's, that's our whole and, and act. He hasn't hammered mm -hmm. me like this for years. Well, there's some truth in that. The head debate has also spilled into the religious arena, becoming a battle between good and evil. This is why God uh, uh, punished us before. I, I was young, I, I did sin. I used to like to have a gin and tonic every now and then. That was my drink. I would go to the club and I would, I would see young ladies. You know, in, in that nice, you know, tight skirts. Because the Lord brought me out of that. See, and he showed me the right path. And the Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice, and hailstones and coals of fire rained down. What are you talking about there? I'm talking about righteousness, brother. And you talk about an erection from a spiritual standpoint, and you discuss that gorge of blood flow that allows the staff to stand strong. You can use it for creative thought and energy. See, you focus it on your lower half, but you got to use your mind, not your head. Having head has also led to awkward situations with monumental consequences. Jihad was an unknown up-and-coming rapper when he first tried a male sexual performance enhancement product. Man, you know my girl called me up right after I got out of the studio and she just wanted me to come through. And so I popped three of them. I'm on my way and them Jake's got behind me. He approaches the car. Then he asked me if I had any weapons in the car. And I told the officer no. So he tells me to step out the car. I have my hands up, basically. All of a sudden, I felt it. But I couldn't move. Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground now! Get down! I think I can do it! Next thing you know, he tased me. Oh! Oh! Get my dick! My dick is killing me! Ow! Ow! It won't fit! It won't fit! Somebody cop that on video. Put that thing up on YouTube. My career blew up. Now I'm coming out with my new single, Harder Than Ever. Yeah. Yeah. The war rages on within the United States as the growing epidemic divides this country. Could this be the next worldwide pandemic? A passing fad? Or is it just the next big thing? History will decide. That's cause I slap that ass